you won't want to miss out on today's discussion because we are going to go into some fascinating new developments in the world of SHIB news. It is common knowledge that the SHIB ecosystem has been concentrating on decreasing the amount of tokens that are currently in circulation in order to raise the value of SHIB. And only lately, on March 9th, a major burn of 13.4 billion SHIB tokens to perform through the Shibarian protocol, this event took place. In addition to it, other tokens like Bone and Leash that were part of the ecosystem were also destroyed. On the other hand, this is where things start to get intriguing. Some members of the community have been making comparisons between the burning efforts implemented by SHIB and those implemented by its rival. It's Floki. Additionally, this feeling was brought to light not too long ago via an online conversation that took place between a SHIB devotee and Shidoshi Kusama, the primary developer of SHIB. Once upon a time, he made the following statement, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share your predictions in the comments below the video should be watched all the way through. In my opinion, I am appreciative of your assistance. It's true. During the course of this exchange, Kusama provided some insight into the possible reasons why SHIB is not carrying out large-scale burns like Floki. The fact that SHIB functions according to a totally decentralized project principle, which has been in place since the beginning of its existence, was stressed by him. Kusama also claims that this attitude serves as the foundation for the project's approach to burning tokens, which places an emphasis on the organic benefits that the project brings to the community, rather than merely competing with other initiatives. For a more straightforward explanation, Kusama proposes that the burning of a significant number of tokens purely for the sake of keeping up with the competition might not be the best smart method for the long-term success of SHIB. Now, let's talk about the burn initiative that Floki began not too long ago. The amount of tokens that they burned was a staggering 1 trillion, which is a big amount. Nevertheless, it is essential to take into consideration that the values of SHIB and Floki tokens have experienced substantial growth in the midst of these burn operations. Right now, Floki is trading at 3.27, which is an increase of 7.91.50. In the meantime, SHIB is currently trading at 4.033, which is an increase of 254.82 over the course of the previous month. Consequently, despite the fact that SHIB has not had the same spike as Floki, it is still exhibiting significant growth. In addition, a well-known cryptocurrency analyst believes that there is a possibility for SHIB to reach 4.052, which would put it closer to the extraordinary spike that Floki experienced. Now, you have most likely heard about the recent increase in the price of SHIB, and it has been quite the ride, hasn't it? In spite of all the enthusiasm, however, there have been some fascinating advancements taking place behind the scenes in an effort to give people more reason to be optimistic and to support the ecosystem. Huge quantities of SHIB tokens have been burned by members of the SHIB community and community. Also, when I say big, I mean massively massive. We are talking about more than 383 million SHIB that was sent to a dead wallet in only the previous 24 hours, and it was distributed across three separate transactions. Possibly at this point, you are asking why the community would act in such a manner. To put it simply, it is all about bolstering the market dynamics of the token by limiting the supply of SHIB through the implementation of regular burns. The community has high hopes that they will be able to bring about a substantial change in the way prices are moving and possibly start a bull run. But let me tell you something. There is little doubt that aggressive burns can have an effect on token prices in the near term, however. The long-term viability of such techniques is yet unknown. A different viewpoint on token value is presented as a result of the fact that SHIB places an emphasis on the organic growth of communities and developing a decentralized ecosystem. A quick reminder that the SHIB Army YouTube channel is the one responsible for this analysis and language. If you are presently viewing a channel on YouTube that is not the SHIB Army YouTube channel, I would ask that you please switch to the SHIB Army YouTube channel. I am grateful to you. Now, in spite of all of these burns, the price action for SHIB today was a bit of a mixed bag. The token was trading in the red after a tremendous push over the course of the previous month. The meme coin, on the other hand, is unquestionably constructing a bullish landscape for itself as we enter what many people think to be the beginning of the much-awaited crypto market bull run. This is due to the fact that whale activity is growing, the community is continuing to work on developing the meme coin, and SHIB is constantly being burned. Now, let's get right down to business. The price of this item has dropped by 5.93% over the course of the last 24 hours. 
At this very moment, the price of SHIB is trading at 4032 At this point, I am aware of what you are thinking. A decrease in price may be a little depressing, but there is no need for concern, folks. It is possible that this is the corrective period that many of us have been looking forward to as it has been a long time coming. The overall mood for SHIB continues to be optimistic, despite the fact that it has dropped. I mean, let's not forget that over the course of the last 30 days, there has been a significant increase of 250. As a result of the ongoing burning, the increasing whale activity, and the interesting advancements that have taken place within the community, there is still a great deal of confidence regarding the future applications of the token. Now, in terms of resistance levels, it appears that SHIB encountered a bit of a roadblock at 4,045. However, if we are able to break above the immediate resistance of 4,037, that could be an early sign of renewed recovery for the token. Furthermore, if additional buying pressure continues, we could see SHIB making its way back up to that 4,045 mark in a very short amount of time. But hey, price activity isn't the only thing that matters. In addition to that, let's chat about some fantastic news from the community. Do you know about the petition that Grayscale Investments is attempting to get to launch an exchange-traded fund ETF product for SHIB? To put it simply, it is acquiring a significant amount of momentum, folks. Over the course of only a few short weeks, the plan has garnered an astounding 5,761 signatures. With 695 people supporting the petition in just the past 24 hours, the SHIB community has demonstrated an incredible amount of resiliency in its pursuit of having a leading asset manager such as Grayscale Investments develop an exchange-traded fund ETF that is tailored exclusively to the SHIB. It cannot be denied that the momentum is just going to continue to increase. To put it another way, some devoted supporters of SHIB have been taking their efforts to the next level by promoting a petition on the change.org website. What's more, they aren't just spreading the word, they are also putting their money where their mouths are. Yesterday, Lucia, the marketing specialist for SHIB, disclosed that she had paid $20 to the petition in order to assist in increasing its publicity on change.org. She is not alone in this endeavor. For the purpose of ensuring that Grayscale's proposal for a SHIB ed product is taken into consideration, more than 109 individuals, including Lucia herself, have contributed financially. It's true. There is a possibility that you are curious about the significance of this petition. I'll explain it to you in a way that you can understand, lady. The proposal to have Grayscale launch an exchange-traded fund ETF product for SHIB is a part of a larger plan to provide institutional investors with indirect exposure to SHIB. If you are not familiar with Grayscale, they have been in the game since 2013, providing institutional investors with indirect exposure to a variety of crypto assets. A remembrance of this analysis and the responsibility for the text lies with the Shibarmi YouTube channel. If you are presently viewing a channel on YouTube that is not the Shibarmi YouTube channel, I would ask that you please switch to the Shibarmi YouTube channel. I am grateful to you. In point of fact, Grayscale presently offers 17 investment solutions that are centered on a variety of crypto assets. These financial instruments include well-known cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and others. At the beginning of this year, they transformed their Bitcoin trust into a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF, and they intend to do the same thing with their Ethereum trust. Now, with that being said, it is inevitable that there will always be critics in the world, and they have been making fun of the SHIB community because of this petition. However, you know what? Lucy is not the least bit flustered. In point of fact, she brought up the fact that some individuals had stated that 